Hola, como están? I'm Dee, about to write this vid. This is 10 minutes of unbelievable moments. I better be shook. I better be shocked by all of this, um, this wild shit that's about to happen in this video. Or I'll be disappointed. But we're gonna see what, what they show us as well. There are some moments in life that we simply can't believe our eyes. But thanks to cameras, Sometimes you get to record these unbelievable moments. During the early stages of a volcanic eruption, occasionally there's this mysterious phenomenon called volcanic lighting that is not from an ordinary thunderstorm, but from the eruption itself. Oh, and it's shit. absolutely spectacular and terrifying at the same time. Oh, that looks so dull. With so many technological advances happening in the past oh, decade, we really have no clue what working in the future will look like. In Japan during the pandemic, the some grocery episode. staff were able to work from home by controlling a robot with VR technology. People were slow as fuck though, god damn. I don't know if this is efficient, brother. Despite the weird and terrifying appearance, ground to cloud lightnings are not uncommon, and it's a discharge between a cloud and ground initiated by an upward moving leader. An incredible demonstration of skill by James Jean is curving an arrow to hit a balloon. And if it wasn't impressive enough, he can also do it with two arrows at a time. This ice cream man from Turkey likes to test his customer's patience by pulling some incredible tricks that could be frustrating for the ice cream receiver. I had some Turkish ice cream when I was in Dubai. This is an incredible I want to clean that. It was so split. good. This happens when it contracts the chromatophores, which limits the amount of pigment visible. Over 188,000 bikes were reported to be stolen each year in the United States, which the real number is probably more than twice that, okay. since most people don't report bike thefts. The company Yurka decided to address this problem by making a lock equipped bike. bike. Or you could just get a, a, a bike lock, right? Even though it's That's pretty so known that camera shutter being at the same speed as helicopter blades causes this, it still is mind-blowing to see. In Punta del Este, Uruguay, due to a cyclone, gusts of winds of over 60 miles per hour flooded the city with sea foam and even caused waves between 15 and 20 feet. And while the reason why this happens is because the ocean water is not fully clear, and if you put ocean water in a glass and shake it, Small bubbles will form on the surface of the liquid, and sea foams form under similar conditions, but on a much bigger scale. This brave fireman is using water as a shield to turn off the tank in an amazing training trip. are the second largest living bird by height after the ostrich and apparently if you lie on the ground and move your legs they'll approach out of curiosity and there isn't really any explanation for why hmm. you don't trust it they don't jump your ass get up nigga. back in 1983 rick charles did a record-breaking dive viewed by millions of people on abc wide world of sports in which he did a world record dive of 172 feet and even though he was in the air for around five seconds he went to say that it felt much longer. This terrifying clip shows an orca quickly catching up to a motorboat. Despite weighing around six to eight thousand pounds, they can still swim at thirty-five miles per hour. Mm -mm, they be on some bullshit. You gotta watch them. A hilarious and very unexpected moment in space happened when astronaut Mark Kelly once smuggled a full gorilla suit without telling anyone about it, and one day decided to surprise everyone. That is serious, but I will start swinging. resonant transformer circuit that was designed by none other than Nikola Tesla. And well, even though nowadays the main use is for entertainment and displays, before it had uses from radio to medical equipment. Roberto Durant is a legendary former professional boxer who held world championships in four weight classes. But when he was fighting Sugar Ray Leonard, an unbelievable moment happened when he just gave up mid-fight due to his frustration of not being able to land punches. Not this nigga giving up. 
No. 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 A very bizarre moment caught on nah. tape as a schoolfish falling a duck. I ain't never seen no shit like that in my life. While diving in the sea, a Florida man found a massive fossilized megalodon tooth, and the size of it was around six inches. For comparison, great white shark teeth are That's usually at most three inches long, and the tooth can go for as high as five thousand dollars. Um, I wouldn't this want to be in that water. This is a video ship that broke global trade after it got Definitely stranded found for six tooth. days in the Suez Canal causing it to block one of the world's busiest shipping pathways and halting roughly $54 billion worth of trade. And the Suez Canal Authority was desperate to clear the ship since they were losing $15 million a day in canal revenue. $15 million a day. Liquid blankets is a term for a chemical designed to keep heat in the pool and it makes an awesome effect when touched. This seventh grader went into a competition against college women and completed 400 meters in under one minute. Period. It's safe to say that we'll probably see her at the Olympics in the near future. Get it, sis. Dust these old bitches. They old to her. <laughs> she's, she's in the seventh grade. Back in March 2021, the most expensive NFT ever sold for a staggering $69.3 million. After the bidding started for just $100, this is the artist's reaction of watching the live auction. Oh my god! 50 million! What? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Sixty-nine million. I think it probably means digital artists here to stay. I'm going to Disney World. When a dog no, saw his Disney owner World. waiting for a delivery while eating, he brought a chair for him to be more comfortable. That is so adorable. Nigga, sit on the chair. Even though we all have some level of fear of spiders, this nest of cobalt blue tarantulas is just straight up confusing. Former professional boxer Mike Tyson had some crazy neck exercise routines to protect from punches, and at the peak of his career, his neck was 20.5 inches. A sad, unfortunate event happened in Omaha like Airlines Flight 243, in which a small section of the left side of the roof ruptured. Thankfully, it was able to land safely at Kahului Airport in Maui. This incident also made the Federal Aviation Authority add more controls to planes to ensure safety. The other this is I'm footage sorry. of the son of Krakatoa yeah, like... volcano eruption in 2018. And well, this exact place actually no longer exists, since it collapsed into the sea in a massive landslide. And well, the volcanic island emerged from the Krakatoa volcano eruption in 1883, which was so loud it was heard from over 3,000 miles away. An unbelievable stunt by a professional motorcyclist, Gary Rothwell, was one done in 1999, in which he dragged himself behind a motorcycle using titanium sole boots. Even though they're not very practical at all, since it requires a lot of energy and strength to get them going, there are some people that like their bikes to have big tires. Even though this was not the most fair race to begin with, this professional athlete managed to do an impressive 100 meter times and didn't lose by a huge margin to a Nissan GTR. At the Porsche Carrera Cup in France, a moment that left the commentators and everyone in the audience in disbelief. Porsche gang gang. When in a small collide, one of the racer's cars somehow ended up on top of My car is in the shop. And it just shows Porsches have the best weight distribution in its class. Period. Somebody, I'll tell you Okay, even though this looks strange, thanks to the F-35 single engine, it can take off and land vertically. And well, there's also a sort of hover mode, which is possible by two doors that open on the top of the aircraft, and two counter-rotating fans blowing about 20,000 pounds of unheated air. Stay hydrated, people. The whole F-35 program had a cost of around $1.7 trillion, so it's very impressive to see. Oh, I feel so full. I'm done with with some cargo ships weighing over 190 metric tons, it makes them have almost no maneuverability, which makes the captain's reactions to improvised events extremely slow. 
costing around 1,400 lost containers at sea per year. Oh, shit. I can just imagine the fish in the water. I'm like, what the fuck? You know? I mean, this video was all right. It wasn't nothing too unbelievable or too crazy. Uh, but yeah, my car is still in the shop. It's gonna be in the shop for quite a few more days. Somebody tried to break into my goddamn car. <laughs> He tried to break into my car. The kicker is, though, my glass was so durable, they could not break it. It even looks like it was, like, bent to a certain degree. Like, they tried to, like, bend it and, like, pry it open. But that Porsche glass, though, that Porsche glass, though, what what not playing no game because these niggas could not break into my car. Can you see? Look at that. Look at that. They could not. Is there anything at the bottom of that? Okay. They, <laughs> I don't want to expose myself. They could not break my glass, and they tried. You could tell they were really trying to get into my car, but they couldn't. The bitch niggas couldn't. But now my fucking glass is fucked up, so it's in the shop. As I was on my way to the dealership, though, I hit a pothole that I didn't see, and it shook my car a lot, and then the glass shattered. So it like scraped up the side of my fucking door. So they're like, hey, we got a special order this glass because we don't even keep it in stock like that. Ain't no used glass that we make for your car either. You, you ain't going to find this nowhere. I called around two days. They didn't have this glass. So this is like specially ordered. And I'm waiting for it to get here for them to install it. This shit is $2,500. And then the scratches on my goddamn door, they said, oh, this is about $2,300. All because some bum ass nigga was trying to steal my car. Even if you got inside, like you you wouldn't have been able to to steal my car. Like you think that my car would be easy to to steal? You, you thought you was about to put a fucking screwdriver in my shit and, and and roll off into the sunset, bitch nigga? Oh, I can't stand people. But you know what? Everything happens for a reason. It happens as it should. So it is what it is. I'm in a rental and oh, I hate it. Anyway, uh, that has nothing to do with anything. This video was okay. Y'all let me know what y'all thought, though. Let me know what the video is I'm going to watch, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye!